Welcome to AI Evaluation. Robots aren't coming, they're here. And they're not just cleaning your floors or helping in factories. They're playing football in Olympic stadiums, selling in malls, cooking your dinner, and even building other robots. In Beijing, a brand new humanoid called Limex Oi has just launched, a 5'5 mechanical powerhouse with 31 degrees of freedom, ready to step into real-world jobs. And in just days, it will host the first ever Olympic venue football match between fully autonomous humanoid robots. Meanwhile, in California, a drone's brain was built, not by humans, but by another robot, in a fraction of the time it would have taken us. This is the future unfolding in real time. So, buckle up, because what I'm about to show you is going to change the way you think about robotics forever. The Big Launch, Limex Oi, 050 to 410. Let's start with the headline, Grabber, Limex Oi. If you remember the Limex CL1 from December 2023, that was a research biped, no real hands, not much you could use in a work environment. But Oi, that's the real deal. It's 1.65 meters tall. That's about five foot five, heavier than most humanoids right now and running 31 active degrees of freedom for incredibly fluid movement. The best part? Full modularity. Want two finger grippers? Done. Need fully dexterous five finger hands? Just swap them in. You can attach microphones, LIDAR, tactile sensors, extra cameras, all plug and play. They're releasing three editions. Light edition, for basic algorithm training and education. Edu edition, for research and testing. Stupor Edition, for high-level real-world interactions. The Open SDK is a game changer. Developers get access to everything, full body state, joint level control, sensor data, no rewriting core architecture. And yes, OI supports onboard large language models for natural conversations, plus multi-stream sensor fusion for advanced planning. That means it can literally think, adapt, and act, almost like a person. Even better, all motion libraries and control modules can be updated over the air. Developers can push custom movements without touching the robot physically. Its public debut, happening this week at the World Robot Conference in Beijing. Expect live demos, and maybe even some surprises. The Humanoid Robot Games. Now, let's talk about the biggest event in humanoid history, the World Humanoid Robot Games, happening August 14th to 17th. Picture this, 280 teams from 16 countries, over 500 humanoids from 127 brands, 26 disciplines, 538 events, packed into just three days, the crown jewel, the world's first fully autonomous five versus five humanoid football match. No joysticks, no remote controls, just pure AI, making decisions on the fly, using swarm intelligence and real-time collaboration. We already saw a test run. Tsinghua University's THU Robotics team beat China Agricultural University's Mountain Sea team 5-3 in a 3-on-3 match. That was China's first ever fully autonomous humanoid football game, and it was stunning to watch. But that's not all. We're getting a humanoid 100-meter dash with 90 teams, a half-marathon showcase from the top six runners in April, and even freestyle combat, with Olympic medalists teaming up with robot squads. And the infrastructure? Mind-blowing. The Panda Eye Stadium, a geodesic dome designed for optimal temperature and humidity control while still letting in sunlight and moonlight, is the world's first professional humanoid football stadium. Right next door is the new Beijing Humanoid Robot Training Base, set to become the training hub for future competitions. Robot Mall. But Beijing isn't just focused on sports, they're also going full retail mode. Welcome to the Robot Mall, the world's largest dedicated robotics marketplace. Over 100 types of robots are for sale, from household helpers and mechanical butlers to eerily lifelike replicas of historical icons like Albert Einstein. Prices range from $278 for small gadgets to millions for high-end humanoids. 
This place isn't just a showroom, it's a full service hub. Spare parts, maintenance, hands on trials with everything from robot dogs to chess playing androids, and right next to the mall, a themed restaurant where robots cook your meals and serve them to your table. All of this is backed by $20 billion in government subsidies in just the last year, plus plans for a 1 trillion yuan fund to supercharge AI and robotic startups. This is not just a store, it's part of a national strategy. AI built drones. And now, something straight out of a sci-fi movie. In California, Professor Peter Burke and his team have created a drone whose brain was built by another robot using AI. Here's how. Instead of years of human coding, AI models like ChatGPT, Claude, and Gemini were tasked with building the control system step by step, sprint by sprint, until it worked. The result? A complete onboard flight control system called WebGCS, built in just 100 hours. That's 10,000 lines of code generated by AI in about two and a half weeks. The same project done traditionally took four years. WebGCS runs entirely on a Raspberry Pi inside the drone. No need for external mission control. It has three layers. One, lower brain, basic flight control. Two, middle brain, mapping, planning, mission settings. Three, higher brain, AI-driven obstacle avoidance and decision-making. The implications? AI can now accelerate robotics development by 20 times, but it also raises huge safety questions. What this means? So, what does this all mean? It means we've hit a turning point. Humanoids are moving from research labs into real-world jobs. AI is not just controlling robots, it's building them. Beijing is setting the stage for a global robotics boom, while AI in California is rewriting the rules of development speed. The question isn't if robots will be part of our daily lives, it's how soon. Leaning in, serious tone. Most people still think AI and robotics are a distant future, but this is happening now. So tell me, would you trust a humanoid robot to work alongside you? Drop your thoughts in the comments, hit that like button if this blew your mind, and subscribe so you don't miss what's coming next. Because if this is just 2025, the next few years are going to be absolutely wild. See you in the next one. What do you think? Would you trust a humanoid to work alongside you? Drop your thoughts in the comments. If this video opened your eyes to how fast robots are moving into our world, hit that like button, drop a comment with your take, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next big breakthrough.